Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm super happy for this uh, tutorial. It's going to be uh, a cute nurse. That was the intention. But also, if you're not planning to make a nurse, it's okay. This can be a doll or a, a type of, uh, you know, girl, a balloon girl. So, uh, but I want to just tell you this uh, tutorial I'm going to dedicate it especially to Tammy Faust. Thank you so much, Tammy, for sending this super cool box full of surprises. And I'm going to open it and show you, all of you, you know, the package that came from Tammy Faust uh, at the end of this tutorial, okay? So if you stay until the end, you will see what is inside. But uh, there's super cute things. I already kind of like a sneak peek. So you, uh, you will see. There's also a cool idea, so stay tuned. Stay here in this video. Let's start with this tutorial. Look, I made um, a nurse for the person that gave me the vaccine. I've been, uh, I had already all my vaccines for COVID. So, um, so I decided to make something special. So look at that picture. That's what I, I, I give it to my nurse. So, and she was super happy. And uh, then people start asking, you know, if there is a tutorial about this design. So I'm going to show you. I just was looking on Google, nurses or cute nurse, and that's the picture kind of I saw, and I was thinking, oh yes, something like that, because usually nurses, in Cheyenne at least, I haven't seen it with dresses, you know, and I know there is a balloon that you can make, oh, a dress, it's okay, it's, it's so possible, but usually the nurses here, they are wearing pants, you know, and these shirts all like in turquoise colors, so this is what I made for the tutorial right now. So the thing is, this part that, what is the Singury, Singury, <laughs> that part, I already have a tutorial, so I'm not gonna show it. I'm gonna show you the rest of the body. You can also can col uh, color it, you know, the face to make it much better. I haven't colored it this time, but of course you can do it. And now look at this, you say, oh, what is this? Well, this is what I use to connect it to the candy cup. So the candy cup, this is also another thing that I already show you how to do. It's you just inflate a five inch round that fits, you know, inside and then connect like a five, six, seven petal flower. It's up to you. And I choose yellow because I think yellow brings happiness. And in the, the picture, the vaccine, you know, the, it was a yellow too, this part. But this one, this time I made it purple. It can be any color. It's up to you, that too. Now, let's start with the body that is very easy, but I think it's perfect, you know, because it's not like they have very elaborated clothes. It's very simple that clothes that nurses wear. So now, and this is kind of the idea that a stethoscope to hear, you know, your heart. So now let's start it. You will need two balloons, turquoise or what is Caribbean blue or you know, something like light blue, inflated both kind of like eight finger tail. Okay, so I decide to start with the legs. So you decide wherever you want to start and all the designs, the thing is, there are so many different ways to make it. If balloons are super flexible, balloon twisting is, you know, infinite ways for the same, you know, design. So this is the way I do it. Let's see if you like it to make it fast too. So I inflate this like approximately eight finger bubble. I mean, measure eight finger bubble and twist it together at the same time. It's fine. When you have that, you pass one, so then it's kind of locked. Okay, then you're going to go with one. You just say which one of this one. And measure approximately like five finger bubble. Five finger bubble approximately, yeah. Five to six finger bubble. And then you're gonna make two pinch twists, one, and two. These pinch twists are like two finger bubbles each, and you have it like this. Now you have one side. Now from the other side, you're gonna first make like a four finger bubble, okay? And then you're gonna go down with another four finger bubble. So you have this, and you twist it together. Then from here, you're gonna now go up with a five finger bubble. The same size long as this one. So you can always kind of like grab it like this, measure. That's what I'm doing, I measure, the measure is the same approximately. 
it's because this thing we want kind of like the, the size correctly because then we, we don't want the body to go one side you know so now you um have it the same size as this one and then you make two pinch twists two finger bubble pinch twist okay now when you have this you're gonna connect things like this way look okay the, the legs are here now one is gonna go the other side this side the other one is gonna go this side or if you don't wanna use all the balloon you just with one you can go up go one side and then come back and that's what i do sometimes to save balloon so this one i'm gonna save it and then i'm just gonna use one and i'm gonna just measure like approximately four finger bubble okay and go all the way to that side and then i'm gonna go back with another four finger bubble and there's another thing that i like to do but it's optional but i think it's better if you from here this short one this one you can start cutting it and save it you don't need it anymore okay save it that's it you don't need it anymore now here you tie you pass it around there you go now this one i lose the air so i'm gonna cut this tip of the balloon and lose all the air and then you're gonna pull to the other side you see you pull to the other side and connect it that is gonna help you to then keep you know your just pass it around tied it and you have something like this then here remember we have something like this that's gonna help you to touch the head but also it's gonna go attaching to here this connection there so now you have this this is like a koala head don't you think <laughs> so you have this now you're gonna grab a 260 and this 260 can be a balloon scrap it's a 260 white but what you need to do is like the shoes so it's like approximately three or four finger bubble three three loop three finger loop and then you're gonna make a like two and a half finger pinch twist twist it and then you're gonna measure another like two finger bubble and you're gonna make another loop, the same idea, two, three finger loop, right? Things doesn't have to be the same size, but try to do your best here. Then two and a half finger bubble, pinch twist. Very basic and simple. Now, if this one you're gonna put it into a candy cap and you don't wanna use glue dots, you, you can just leave a little bubble here, like a less than a finger bubble, and then cut the balloon leaving some tip because that's gonna be the thing that you're gonna attach it into the candy cap okay so in my case yes i'm gonna make candy cap so i'm gonna make here a little bubble like a little finger less than a finger bubble and then look twisted and then i'm gonna leave some space here and then cut it with your cutter you can you don't need this for this balloon but save your scratch now you have all this you're gonna tie it don't forget to leave the, a little bubble because it's going to help you to be things more stable. You see? A little bubble and then all this tip. Okay. Now you're going to grab the cloth and you're going to attach it into each shoe. And then the same the other side. Now this can get untwist, so be careful, okay? That's what I pass it and lock them when I show you the beginning. I don't know if you pay attention. So now you have this. What you need, it's a 160 turquoise. And that's what I'm gonna inflate. Now a 160, the same color of the cloth. 160, the same color. Because also nurses, uh, sometimes you're gonna have like a pink, the same idea of this, but in pink, soft pink, right? Different colors. Come, it's okay. Now you inflate it, well, like a two finger tail, it's okay, because you are going to make um, simple things. Like, I like two finger, two bubbles. Twist it together, make it into a double pinch twist. If you can, if it's not, two pinch twists, small, will be good enough. Or just only one pinch twist and lock them. But I like two pinch twists. Then you squish, you stretch, and you find it right here in the back. This is the back. Now you're gonna go around and go back to the back and attach it there. That's gonna help you too. Things are gonna be more stable, but also look better, you know, for the purpose of the nurse cloth. Now you cut, you pass it through there, you lock it there, you cut, 
save the rest here. Don't take it out because you are gonna need it for the pants. So now you save it. Make sure you tie these locking things. I already show you how to tie, you know, and lock at the same time, which is really cool. Now you have this, then the legs also close to the shoes. You're gonna do the same idea you did here, but for each leg. So let's start, let's do this. One bubble, another bubble, twist it together. I like to make like double pinch twist, but you can also make just only one pinch twist. This is the double pinch twist. Then a squish, twist, you have this, and you're gonna pass right here in the back, and then I'm gonna go around and go back in here to do two pinch twists and twist. Now the rest you cut, you save the balloon, tie it, and make sure this part you tie it so it's safe, okay? You know what I'm thinking, this design is not going to take you too long because we're going to plan, I'm planning to use printed balloons. But in case you don't have a printed face, which I recommend it, if you can get the printed faces for, you know, like this one, because I'm going to show you what is going to be the face. Look at this face. Okay, you can find it in your balloon store, like Alien Rocks, Perkin Balloons, but I love this and I never used it before because I was thinking, yeah, no, it's just fancy if I'm gonna do it with Sharpie, but Sharpie takes you super long time. The thing is, I like Sharpies, I like, you know, to use my markers and do the face, but for events like birthdays, you know, I now start thinking that people want, oh, those princesses that I post on my Instagram, and this is a perfect way to make it faster with that face already printed. Then I just add some color for makeup, but it's gonna be easier for me. And the thing is, you inflate this balloon, it's already a quick link, which is awesome. If you don't have it into a quick link, these printed faces, there is also rounds. You can also have the racing bean trick, you know, and then make another side this way. But no, you're gonna tie it, inflate it, you know, not too big, but not too small. So I think this is a good size. Okay, now you keep it there. I was just finishing to make this part. <laughs> Focus, Cecilia, focus now. I just cover it and then you cut this. You don't need it anymore. But save those little, little things for your gambo machine balloons, for those bubbles. That is always a good trick to show, to do. And the thing is, after making probably fairy, then your fingers are gonna hurt. But before, you know, you only make one or two, it's, it's good. And it's really cool that the clear balloon with bubbles inside, that's what I'm talking about. Now you have this, look at this, great. Now, we can start adding the arms and let's start with the body so we don't complicate ourselves. You will need a 260 balloon. I like, you know, sh this uh, nurse have, you know, strong arms, no skinny with a 160. I think it's gonna look better with a 260 balloon, splash. Inflate them, oh, you don't know gonna need all, so it's like a finger fingertail. You're gonna make a small loop, like two, finger loop, you're gonna lock them, and then you're gonna make a one finger pinch twist. One finger bubble pinch twist. You have this, very basic arms. Then you're gonna bend it. I like this, so it's gonna keep it this kind of like more like this instead of like, like this, the arms. <laughs> so that's gonna measure approximately like six finger long, no more, all this. And you bend it into this way. It's up to you how you want that, but uh, I think it's cool this way. And then you just attach it to one of the shoulders. And this is a good thing. You can cut the balloon and then attach it here, or you can also squish the air. So there is any big bubble in between. You just squish the air. Look what I'm doing, I'm squishing the air. Passing it again through here. It's hiding there. Now you pass it around here, and then from here you make the other arm. Let me, um. Make sure this arm it's looking the way I want it. It's like, what is going on here? Just like this, yeah. So now the other arm, the same idea. You bend them, then you push, and now you have that kind of shape. And uh -huh. now here you make your three finger long, all that, and then you make a two finger loop, one finger pinch twist. Basic, basic, but 
sometimes basic is good because what you want is people to pay attention in other details you know the details like what like the injection the surgery surgery oh it's impossible to pronounce but you, you know the vaccine <laughs> yeah so you have this okay now when you have that what else you need that thing that goes here you know but but you can do it at the end because that's kind of like an accessory and also the, the same thing as that pew, pew, that I shoot the shot the vaccine <laughs> the third injury <laughs> now you have this let's start with the head you will already inflate this balloon now you're gonna grab a 260 mocha brown and the thing is it she can be bl blonde or red hair or orange hair any color of hair but you just gonna see how I made it. It's like four finger tail. You're gonna start squishing, make it soft. You're gonna make a loop, like approximately, what is this? Three finger loop. Then you're gonna make a pinch twist, basic again. You're gonna connect this way to start the hair into on top of the head. You accommodate it whatever you want. Pull the quick link tip and pull and pass it around a couple times. Okay, then I'm gonna grab the nozzle of the blush and I'm gonna kind of like measure it this way. See, and I twist. Now I'm gonna grab the nozzle of the blush color and pass it through and it's locked. Now I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna pass it through the hair on top. Then I'm gonna go down. And the same idea. I grab the nozzle of the blush, measure it, pass it around the nozzle. Look at how I'm playing with the nozzle of the blush. And then pass it through there. And then one more time, I can go up. And then let's see if I have enough. And look, this is a bummer. I don't have enough to go down. If you can, great. Because the thing is, you can do as, you know, if you can go ahead, go down. Now with this, you can make another loop here to add more hair. And that's another, that's what changed hair. You see, change is not always the, the, the same. This is how I made it the first time for today. And we can change. And that's like what I want you to uh, remember. I'm just going to make a hole here. You see, and then we make it soft. But the thing I like to use all the balloon as possible. So that's what I grab, lose some air, and then that is also, I just pull, look, it's a squishable and play with that. Okay, that's, then you tie it with if you you fun, you know, you tie it, secure it, and that's it. So now the hair may change a little bit, but it's okay, I'm okay with that. You see? It's also perspective and, and like, if it's on top and it's brown of the hair, it's gonna be hair, you know? so. And it looks this way, it's hair. <laughs> now you're gonna grab a 160 brown because we're gonna add more hair. So I'm looking for a 160 brown or mocha brown. There's different type of browns too. Chocolate brown, that's one. So you, oh wait, you see, I knew it. Huh. I already inflated. Now you have a 160 inflated like, like three finger tail. And this is what I did. And this is what I'm gonna show you what is probably a cool technique, a new way. Let's see. You kind of like measure the idea. This is what I did. I measure kind of like the head here. I want this long piece. And then I'm going to just attach the rest, you know, around these loops. See, now I'm gonna do the same the other side. So with this, you can help you to go, you know, and, and kind of put some pressure to that loop so it's down. That's a way if you want, okay? And I'm going to measure again the same size approximately. So I'm going to close here. And this is what I'm going to do. Look, I twist so I kind of measure the same these two sides, this and this. Okay? Now, you can leave, leave that, it's okay. Now this one, I twist it, and now from here, I'm gonna kind of make a, a little spiral, just like there. It's a spiral, but I make sure now from here, I'm gonna pass the rest of this, I'm gonna pass it, 
and it's gonna go through this piece and then it's gonna go up to here and look how it's gonna work you pull, pull it okay let's see um uh, i don't know why it was twisted let me see it's hard to show you and do it but i'm i'm gonna do it now okay i'm gonna do it this way i measure the same size i'm gonna grab i'm gonna go in a spiral okay then i'm gonna go until i found it like here play with the angle i'm gonna put it down so i'm gonna squish the air so that's what this balloon have some tail the 160 okay i squish it there here it's gonna stay there look and then goes up this is the back and it's gonna go up the idea is to squish the air so that's a good two you know tie there and then look you just put it up here to this loop so pinch twist whatever you find there pass it around now you will have probably if you haven't made this too long balloon enough even to make another loop here if you want another loop or and then go in the spiral to the end here but i'm gonna do it in the spiral now here and the thing is you don't go all the way to the end you know to this one so this one is gonna go and again do the same when you have kind of part of that then this long piece you're gonna pass it through the first 260 bubble in between again okay. and then you're gonna kind of like pull but also squeeze here so it's and then it's gonna go down and you can also wait no wait well i'm making it different now sorry you know what i'm making it different this time it was different than this one so but it looks cool too why not <laughs> okay now let me see it was like this so when you are here now it's you want to go down half approximately in between these 260 brown you go down here like approximately five finger twist squish the air now try to squish the air then maybe you will need like three or four finger tail when you play this 160 mocha brown but you squish the air until you are here and now you're going to take this down and then grab you know and make in a spiral the rest okay things don't have to be perfect you can just do your best okay now when you have that you can cut it and make pinch twists if you want to make it you know like look cool but this is the idea okay now, if you think it's not long enough, and that's kind of it's hard to calculate because now this one is longer than the other one. So it is hard to calculate, but, uh, okay. Now, this is also another thing we can do with the rest, and this is opening too much. With the rest of this piece, you cut it, look, and you tie it here. But also, if you want this down, you can always grab the rest, pass it through here, all the way to the other side. That's another way. I'm passing it all the way to the other side. And then you can grab this piece and kind of like attaching it to. It's another way, right? You know? And you can kind of like twist in one side that you want it to stay. Look, I just grab one side that you want it to stay and pass it around. Because balloons are flexible. Uh, we don't tie it too tight. You know, always leave some air to squish and let's see what happens. Let's see. So we have something like this. Now things are more stable, but they are not as long as we want. So I'm just hiding the rest and we have something like this. Look, it looks kind of cute. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this type of hair? Now, you can always kind of like put it in the front more of the... And change a little bit that. Okay, now, with this piece can, that we have from the blush, we can always now go into here and make sure you put also between this bubble and the bubble in the back. There's gonna be the intersection there. That will be good also to pull, pass it through, 
pull and then attach it in between. Pass it a couple times, you don't need to tie, just pass it a couple times, it's gonna be good enough. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, now let's put things in proper position. Let's see how it's looking so far. Now, I kind of complicate myself with the, with the hair, but the thing is, I'm okay because it looks cute. You know, you have to play with that. You don't have to do all the things I did. Probably you will find with my mistakes better ways to do this. And if you do that, please let me know. For example, here I'm going to twist it. Maybe it's going to look better. Maybe. You see, now things can change and it's okay. You see, she have maybe one tail coming out from there. I don't know. Or maybe you take it out like that, make it more in a spiral. Let's see. So this is how it's looking for me. Okay, now, it shouldn't be so complicated. You know what? Also, you can always make any type of hair. I think I'm okay with this. It's okay. Now, what else? From here, we're going to do the stethoscope. And you just need... Uh, 160 inflated like three or four finger long here and you're going to start making like a little bubble like one finger bubble pinch twist or just keep it like as a bubble if you want okay i just pinch twist and look i'm squishing now the air and squish and squish the air to the other side you see i'm squishing the air keep it squishing keep it squishing and do you have something long like, like this? Now from here, you want to twist. And then look, twist it like seven times. So it's all twisted there. You're going to start having here like more thickness in the twist part. And you're going to make with that an apple twist. That you're going to, not too long. Now grab here and try to find it and grab that thing that you've been tidying and twisting. So I grab it there and then I'm going to twist and twist and twist and make sure now you pull this so it's long, like three finger long at least. You twist this part. Now you're going to grab maybe you know a 160 so that's going to be holding and you're going to tie it here with make sure you Secure that part. Now you tighten. Let me see, I'm tightening it. And then this you can cut it. You're not gonna need it anymore, so you can cut it. Everything is secure there, you can cut it, but you can always just in case tie it with a white part. That's what I'm doing, just in case. Okay, so you have this. Now, the rest, this can go around the neck, you know, and just stay there as long as you want. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass it through here. And then find it. You can always kind of like make sure it's in holding from the neck. So you want something like here. And then here you're going to tie it back. Okay. I hope I'm not confusing you. Because <laughs> sometimes it's like, I'm like, wow, Cecilia, you went too fast. You went too confusing. But I'm tying them here. And that's kind of I did it. You can cut always the excess. Yes, you can. And now accommodate it the way you want it to look. So you don't want this too long. But, and this is the thing. It's coming one side, right? Because it's still some air in this white. So now that's why I grab this little pinch twist and I kind of like squish it in here, you know, make some pressure there and it's going to stay. And look at this. I think this is a really cool, you know, detail. And because it's a nerve, people are going to say, oh, that's a stethoscope. Hmm. <laughs> now it's done. Yeah. Now you can color it, you know, do whatever you want here. That's up to you. And now you just put it here. That's the little bubble. This is the cap. You just attach it there. How I'm gonna try to show you. You pull and then pass this around a couple times. And look, it stays there. 
see now that's a really cool part stays there standing up now you can always decorate this part of the base with flowers look at this flower it's a very simple 160 balloon make it a couple loops there and then from the 160 little green side here you also can squeeze the air and connect it to the other side and you have this suction that way you don't use glue dots you can only just grab it and pass it into the, the yellow petals and that's what i'm gonna do look I, I connect one right here for example you don't want it to put so, too much pressure so just put it down there and then the other one passing maybe one time I'm passing it and then I just attach it, you know, to the other side or any, any side you want to be, you know, your flowers to be looking. So you can put it right there. Okay. You can put this one maybe in the front. It looks better. Maybe. Let me see. No, oh, you cannot see. So something like this. Just a couple flowers. Why not? You tell me what do you think about this idea? Um, it's a very, you know, like tall candy cup. And again, if this you think oh, it's coming out, you can always squish it there, or you can even tape it, or you can just pull, you know, pass it through here and lock it into in between, you know, here inside. There's always a solution. I just like to kind of like squish it there and it stays stay. Awesome. Thank you so much. And now it's all it's time to open that box and i'm super happy and thankful thank you so much tammy faust i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know you wanted to know how i made the nurse so i hope you like it again in the description i'm gonna leave the link for this tutorial of the surgery surgery you know the shot the vaccine and so you, you if you want you can do it because it's just very easy and skin into a pinch twist with a white that way then you just grab that little bubble pinch twist and twist it with one the, the blush pinch twist and it's, then you accommodate things so that's a really cool part it's no glue dots it's just twisting bubbles there now let's uh open the box yeah <laughs> and let's see i know this video is long but it's okay it's okay because if you don't want to watch it you can just cut that part it's like it's okay i don't care what is inside the box <laughs> i care a lot <laughs> so i'm gonna start uh taking you know this is protection box and then it's a beautiful card it's a beautiful card look at this card i'm gonna take it out look and it had a flower and more flowers here and it says just a note of thanks it says this little card from me comes to you to say a bright and sunny thank you you really made my day so it says thank you so much for sharing all of your amazing talent with the rest of us. Sign it, Tammy Faust. Thank you. I love this guy. It's going to be decorating my show for sure. I'm going to keep it here for a moment. Wow, look at this. These are the Quick Links Blush. Basic. I now I can see it. I start using it a lot to make, you know, the heads. It's more expensive than just a round blush balloon, but I think it's worth it, especially if you want to impress you know people more now thank you so much then i have blush to 60s look at blush to 60s now that i'm making princesses a lot oh look at this it's um like plush doggies very cute ones this can be cool also to put in inside clear balloons super adorable thank you but it's going to also be decorating my show so i'm going to put it right here there is another it's a bunny because the package, the plan was to uh, to come here for Easter, but you know it's take forever. If you want to send a box of you know balloons to here to my mailbox, um, I know in Cheyenne the mail is kind of very slow, but they can and they can <gasps> look lots of a sticker star uh, butterflies. Look at this! It's a lot of butterflies. I think it's gonna look cute to put it into the wall right behind me. What do you think? yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do you will see in the next tutorial it's gonna be all there decorating then i wanna oh perfect blue dots yes these are great tool for balloon twisters blue dots very easy to just in a moment do something very elaborated but there are some details that you can just glue 
put there, like the little, little nose for uh, princesses. Thank you so much. Then what else here? Oh, this um, is perfect. You know, it's uh, grass, you know, from Easter, but also this can be great for the candy cups, look. And the bottom of the candy cups, you don't have also much candy, you know. You can also put it here, it looks cute. So that's something really cool, I love it. Because I use it, you know, for different different things. Then, lots of balloons, 260s. Oh, I love it! <laughs> Thank you so much. I love this, you know, bag with lots of balloons. Because believe it or not, I use it all. <laughs> Now, what else? It's here. Oh, a sticker. I like googly eyes. So you can put it into balloons. That will be cool to play with. So I'm gonna uh, try to use them. The only thing is, I don't think these are with the stickers. I'm gonna try to check it out. Sometimes you have to have the glue and glue them that way. And look at this. Look at this. It's like this is getting me super excited because it's something specific for balloon artists for balloon twist and it says balloon dog earrings made by my daughter Kyla and granddaughter Jenna. Thank you so much, Kyla and Jenna. This it's uh, it's beautiful, you know, beautiful because I love earrings. I love to wear something, you know, as a balloon twister. The represents that I'm a balloon twister that I love balloons. But for example, the ones that I've been using from Grandma B uh, in this windy place, it's like sometimes I feel like it's taking my ear, you know, it's like because of the winds, I had to take care of that. But with these small ones, maybe it's going to be a great idea to wear. And I even have another color. So look at this. Look, at the, I had to show you. Look at these details. I wonder if uh, Tammy, it's your granddaughter Jenna, uh, doing this for other balloon twisters. Is there a website or Facebook they can find you? I'm gonna wear it right now. Look, you have, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I love them, I love them. So now I'm gonna put it in my ear and I'm gonna wear it today and tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and every day. <laughs> now this will be the other one, so you're gonna start looking at. I love it because it's good sometimes, you know, just to wear something small. Like sometimes, I, you know, I, I was also happy. Everybody's like, wow, those are cool earrings from Grandma B, you know, with the ornament, ornaments dogs from Christmas. I'm going to show you have one right here. But I think they are so big, these ones. And I just keep it with me when I'm getting into the party. It's, you know, uh, in the car, I wear it at that moment for the party. You see, these ones are the ones I've been using and I are really cool because they're not heavy. The only thing is here, the wind, my hair and everything can get a stuck there. And look at these earrings. Wow, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you for uh, your granddaughter and, and daughter. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna say their names. It's thank you, Kyla and Jenna. Daughter and granddaughters. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Tammy, again. I love all this. It makes me super happy and more motivated for more tutorials. So stay tuned, everyone, because I'm going to make more tutorials. I feel like, oh, I have more balloons. I have energy. Um, I have, you know, these cool, quick links. And if you would like to collaborate with this channel, how to do that? Check up on the description of all my videos. You will see there my address. I even have an Amazon wish list. If you have an Amazon account, just click on that wish list that is there on the description and you will see the things that I found on Amazon that I would love to have here. More of those are balloons because balloons is what I need to keep making videos and also it helped me with, me with my balloon business. So that is something really cool. I will appreciate it. I also have a PayPal account and a Bimo account. You can donate money to my PayPal account or Bimo account, all the money, even if it's just sometimes you think, oh, I don't have, you know, $1, $2, $5, 10 whatever you can donate, it's very well appreciated because I accumulate and accumulate. I save the money as soon as I see that it's something that I would like to buy. Like I bought this balloon organizer, thanks to all of you and your balloon donations. And the thing is this, it's, it's more expensive, but with thanks to your donation and others donation, I am able to buy those things. 
Well, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, all of you, for your like, your comment, your subscribing. So, um, and keep, you know, like sharing this with other balloon artists. But at the end, I think I'm happy with all of you that it's not like we are like millions, of course not, <laughs> you know, but we are, I think, a good amount of people here that love balloons. And I like that. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.